Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Trailblazer League Level 3 Skiller Edition. And this is an exciting time because we have one goal for this episode. I say this all the time. We have one goal, and we're going to max out the account. We still have a lot of skills to go through. Obviously, we need to finish up runecrafting, construction, agility, basically, fletching, mining, smithing, and fishing. That's a lot. It's a lot. But the good thing is, a lot of these buyables, I'll be able to finish up like quick. I just need to get the supplies. I need to get the cash. So it'll take a little bit, but we're going to get there. Also on a side note, as you can see from the screen here, we have 6,000 points until our eighth relic, which I really can't wait to get to because that is going to be absolutely game changing for the future of this account for the next three weeks. If you like the video or if you like me, you know, you never know. Go ahead, give it a like. I'm going to go start doing things now. Okay, bye. We have a lot to do, but I think the best way to get started is actually to do some smithing. Now, looking at all these skills, you know, mining, fishing, beh, those are really the only two to talk about. But like mining and fishing, I can do when I'm being AFK. So when I'm actually paying attention to the game, I don't really want to focus on them when, you know, I can do it at any other point in time. Smithing, on the other hand, I'm going to have to be click intensive, whether I'm doing the Giant's Foundry or if I'm just like doing some tasks to be able to smith, like some dart tips, some bars, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Fossil Island and I forgot a banker's note. Okay, stop in here. But I'm going over to the Fossil Island mines that I can just mine a whole bunch of myth, addy, coal, basically anything that pops up because, because there's one task to smith a thousand adamant dart tips, a thousand mithril dart tips, things like that. So I figure I, sh I may as well just get the ore in the meantime and then once I'm through getting all that, then I'll go ahead and go back to the Giant's Foundry. Actually, change of plans. I was just looking through the RuneScape wiki, whatever, and I was trying to figure out a way where I could find or buy ore. And there really aren't any ways to do it without having access to Asgarnia or doing the uh, Volcanic Mine, which is literally right over here, but I don't even think I can do that. So what I'm realizing that I can do is just go back to the Giant's Foundry, which, which is what I should be doing in the first place. Mainly because one, it's smithing experience, which is great. Two, you get a shitload of points because I'm at like a four times or a five times multiplier. I don't remember which one. And three, it only costs 200 points to be able to buy ore packs, which give a lot of coal, which give a lot of myth, addy, things like that. So by the time like my smithing goes up, which I need to get up anyways, I should have more than enough ore to finish up whatever tasks I need. So yeah, even though I'm going to be missing out on some mining experience, it's really not the best doing this anyways. So we're going to go over to the Giant's Foundry once I finish hitting this rock. And uh, yeah, we'll get a couple uh, swords done. We've done three or four, three or four swords, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. But it's already brought us up to level 87 smithing, but I'm sure we have plenty of points here to get some more, uh, more of the smith's outfit. So we're going to go ahead and get the smith's trousers for 4,000 points, giving us a nice little collection log slot. And we now have three out of four of the smith's outfit pieces. I wasn't paying attention, but we actually have enough for the last piece of the outfit this quickly. So let's go ahead and get the smith's boots for another collection log slot, and you know, I know for a fact that this is a task. So with the full Smith's outfit, we get another 80 points. We almost missed it, but we just got 89 smithing, which, hey, in itself, not a big deal. But the main level is that we just got 1500 total, which is near max. <laughs> We're so close, I swear. We're almost there. All right, handing in our 46th sword, and this is actually gonna bring us up to 92 smithing. So we're officially halfway to 99, and uh, I wanna take a break. <laughs> I'm uh, kinda bored of this at the moment. I'm definitely gonna come back soon enough, but kinda wanna get these ore packs, see what's going on, and holy shit, 11,000 points. Should I finish the log right now? Oh, am I gonna? No, I'm not because I'm coming back here. So I'm just gonna buy a shit ton and <laughs> come back at another point. Either way, collection log slot for the ore pack. Oh man, this is crazy. I guess I'll just open them now. 
Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, this was perfect. Look at all that coal. Okay, we can make as many bars as we want. This is amazing because like, we can just smith so much stuff now and not have to worry about a thing. And honestly, we might be able to get some smithing levels a little bit quicker this way. Like if I can make some plate bodies or something, cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's turn some of these into some bars and uh, then finish up some tasks because we may as well do it now. You know, I said I was going to hold off on these tasks until I ended up maxing. But there's also a task to go ahead and smelt a runite bar. So we're just going to come over here real quick and make, what is it, the two that I can? For a nice little 80 points. And there's the first 1,000 dart tips down, giving us 40 points. Now we're moving on to the Addy. Another thousand down, and this time it's for 80 points. And this next task will take like five seconds. We just need to smith a runite item. So same thing, even like dart tips are gonna be a task. So we'll just go ahead and start with dart tips. Okay, that didn't count for some reason. That's interesting, hang on. If I can just spell this correctly. Smith a rune item. Okay, I guess we'll just make a, um, we'll just make a sword real quick. Okay, so smith a rune item done. Oh, and you know what I should do? I should make these rune limbs, because that's also going to be a task to make, like, a rune crossbow. And this way, it's taken care of. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta stop, like, I gotta stop all this side progress and focus on maxing. These swords really fly by when you actually dedicate time to doing the Giant's Foundry. So turning in this one, that's officially 50 swords for 80 points. We actually got a pretty big moment here. So first off, we're going to go ahead, turn in this sword, which will give us level 96 smithing. We're burning through these. So 96 smithing. And then we also got a genie lamp, which I was saving for, you know, next time I'd be recording. So we're going to put that straight in the Slayer and giving us level 50 Slayer. And we also have like a whole bunch of points that we may as well just use real quick. So we have 15,000 points. So we're going to use that to finish out the rest of the Giants Foundry collection log. So let's get the double ammo mold. I can't even finish it. Oh, come on. I don't, e I don't think I can finish Dwarf Cannon without without having as a Garnia. Honestly, I'm not sure. <sighs> Whatever, we'll do the rest, I guess. Kovacs Grog, the Smithing Catalyst, and the Colossal Blade. And the rest, I guess, we'll just save up for uh, a bunch of ore packs for the future. I was about to turn this in and then go and get another sword, but this genuinely might be our last level. So let's hand it in, let's see what the XP drop is. Oh, it is. Holy shit, 99 smithing for another 200 points. And yes, of course, we still need to do 18 more swords here at some point, but we are done here for now. We need to focus on other things. We need to get the rest of these 99s. What do I want to focus on? Not sure. I'm probably going to go do Temporos. I think, I think that's like what I'm in the mood for. Yeah, like I was saying, I think Temporos is definitely the best idea for now because of all the reasons I was saying before, like if I'm gonna be doing something click intensive, I'd rather have it work toward a task. Like Temporos, we need to eventually do either 100 or 200 KC. So that's gonna add up. In the meantime, um, if I need to step away, like I'm not clicking all the time, I will go ahead and just fish some salmon and trout because surprisingly the XP rates are identical. So either way, we're here. We're going to do this until I don't even know. Listen, I know that I should save up my points. I know that that's like what you're supposed to do. But I'm bored. I'm a little bit tipsy. I've had, I had a, a couple of had a couple of drinks for a happy hour. 
And you know, I'm about to get off, so I kind of want to see what happens in these 37 permits. Oh my god, permits. Permits. So 37 rewards. <laughs> 25 kill count. That's why we're doing the rewards for 25 KC. Let's see what we get. And we didn't get shit. We got absolutely nothing. I promise. <laughs> I promise the rest of the way I won't open up anything and we'll just see like what happens. Why did that guy just come sprinting at me? I have to say for some weird reason, I genuinely enjoy just sitting here and fly fishing salmon and trout. It's what I'm used to. You know, being a level three, I don't really get many other options. Like, yeah, I could go ahead and do sharks for low XP. I can do anglers, which is even worse. But like, I can't do barbarian fishing at all. I can't do anything that's actually more worthwhile without going to Temperos. And just being here, it's so nostalgic because like, I can picture what the barbarian song like sounds like in my head. Like, out of all of RuneScape, for some reason, that's probably the one that I remember most because I would be in here in, you know, fifth grade or whatever, just killing barbarians thinking, oh, this is a good training method. I'll pick up the raw or the cooked meat off the table and it's perfect. But no, really, like the only other thing it makes me think of is like I need to do fishing on my other skiller, like on my normie skiller, I know that. But the only thing holding me back is the fact that you have to sit here and drop everything. This banker's note, awesome. I really enjoy it. I understand that's not gonna come to the main game. But can you imagine if there was just a drop all option? Like if you could just press like X and like, you know, drop all. I feel like that would be amazing. And I know a lot of people are going to hate on that because, like, the quality of life for RuneScape has really gone up lately, which makes old grinds less valuable, if that makes sense. Like, I understand a big part of it is the fact that, like, oh, yeah, why these accomplishments are huge is because of the fact that there's so much more clicking. But, man, I don't care. Bring drop all options back. Or don't bring them back. Bring them in. Temporos has actually been pretty fun. I know I'm gonna come in with an update soon enough because I'm really close to the 50 kill count here, but like I'm actually enjoying my time now compared to like when I first started off and I wanted nothing to do with this minigame. Like, so, <laughs> first off, there's 97 fishing, so we've really been plugging away here. But I mean, yeah, it's great XP. I mean, even this is a little bit off because I left my computer for a little bit. It's more like one mil XP an hour. So we've just been fucking pushing through these levels. We're almost there, we're so close to 99. But you know what, I'm just happy that like this isn't the worst mini game in the world. Small milestone here, but we actually just finished up our 50th game of Temporos for a nice little 40 points. And you know what, I could use a little bit of a break from this, I've been going non-stop. I know it says an hour, I... Ugh. Listen, I've been going for a while now, I promise. I'm gonna go ahead uh, see what rewards we get because I could use a little bit of that dopey dopamine real quick. Uh, what do I need? My fishing net. So yeah, let's run over here and see if we can get anything fancy. This is just getting crazy, like, what do we need to do to get a unique? Like, don't get me wrong, you know, um, I'm happy with it, whatever. We got some caskets, an easy clue, and nothing really special. And we have a whole lot of spirit flakes, I will say that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and check the bank. I might have enough to recolor the outfit, so let's see what happens there. Holy shit, it costs 1200 for each one? Jesus Christ! Okay, that's not gonna happen. Never mind, never mind. Alright, we have a semi-decent plan put together, so I figure, you know, you guys just listen up real quick, <laughs> and I can explain, like, what's going through my mind right now. So, we just hit 97 fishing earlier, and I just need a good break from that, and, uh, I also have some reasoning behind why I'm gonna stop fishing. So, 
there's a lot of click intensive stuff that I need to do. I need to get my mining up, I need to get runecrafting up, instruction, and fletching. Now don't get me wrong, these are all pretty easy and I'm pretty well off, like or well along the way to getting all these 99s, but it's more just trying to think of, oh, well, where's my time best gonna be utilized, if that makes sense. So at the moment, I'm gonna stay here at the Scar Essence Mine until I reach 92 mining, because I figure at that rate I should have, I don't know, over 60,000 Tainted Essence, which will have me so close to 99. I don't want to go overboard, I don't want to waste any time I don't need to. So we'll see where we are once we hit 92 mining, do all the rune crafting, sell off the runes, and then go from there. I kind of wish I could stay here just in the main game. I, this is, for whatever reason, really relaxing. I'm actually enjoying it, and like I've said a million times before, it's such a good way to actually get pure essence on a level three. I mean, I won't be able to do this in the main game unless, you know, somehow I can kill whatever the fucking desert, desert treasure two bosses are. I know I can't. I'm just being an ass. But still, hey, uh, Jagex, what do you say you open up the Scar Essence Mine to uh, everybody? Just an idea. Even the bots. Who cares? And that's what we were waiting for. 92 mining officially halfway to 99 which doesn't really matter but once we uh finish this inventory we'll see what our final tainted essence count is and it is almost 62,000. so definitely a great start for pure essence i was trying to do the math and listen i'm not a math person i think i need 40 but like i said i don't want to go overboard i just want to see where we end up so let's go ahead and withdraw Nearly 31,000 rune essence. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Yo, can someone please remind me next time that the ZMI altar is fucking multi so I don't like freak out when I'm getting attacked by these guys? Oh, anyways, we're here. Almost died, ate what? Five sharks, so, or sharks, lobsters, so that's great. Um, yeah, I, I came here because I want to I want to get the level. If I have any left over, I can always hit the nature altar and go from there. Um, it just it's more worth my time. It's gonna suck <laughs> doing all the clicking, but you know I'm gonna shift things around. I'm gonna go in resizable mode, try to get something comfortable. So yeah, I'll be back when like my fucking wrist is destroyed. We're close to finishing up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the screen back to the normal version so that you guys can actually see how this looks. Let's go ahead and do what? These last 10 inventories, I think? And it's done, 99 rune crafting. 200 points. I don't know why I lifted my arms too while doing that. Oh my god, it feels so good to stretch. 99 rune crafting. Another 99 down. God. So the only ones we have left are construction, fletching, agility, fishing, and mining. But as we all know, we're basically there. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna keep these for now uh, And when I need the money, I'll head over to the to the nature altar I'm gonna sell these off and uh, anything else I just have sitting in my bank and then get the viable skills ready to go. Oh Man, so this has been crazy from selling off all of my runes and like I had a couple random things in my bank Like the adamant arrows that I've created over time things like that We're up to almost four and a half mil and here's the tip. I said in a previous video that you could just shift it to sell 50 and you'll get the uh, the high alk price. I was wrong. I was corrected in my comments and thank you so much for that because I'm making infinitely more money by selling 10 at a time because it's just like if you were in the main game, if you're going to sell X amount, it's going to bring down the value. So uh, from selling all those, we're up to almost 4.4 mil and i'm just gonna go over to al Karid, do the same thing sell these emeralds and then my god i can literally buy like anything i want <laughs> i i wasn't ready for this i should have uh, kept going making mahogany planks instead of those teaks I, I didn't think i'd be rolling in the dough like this 
This, this is just ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. Selling off all these emeralds, we're up another mil and a half, which is just insane. My finger hurts. I am uh, losing it right now. But overall, we've profited. I don't know if I want to say that. We've gone up to 6.1 mil. And that's not even counting what's in our bank right now. I think we have uh, like a mil and a half, something like that. Let me actually take a look real quick. So yeah, we're now up to eight mil. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, th this is just, this is incredible. Oh my God, I can't move my fingers right now. So yeah, next thing on the list, we're gonna get, to, we're gonna take the 4,000 teak logs that we have, turn them into planks. This won't get us to 99. I'm pretty sure when I was doing the math, I need 4,800. But um, like I said, I wanna just see where I'm at and then I can chop the rest of whatever. And then the rest of that money is gonna go straight into fletching. And that is four thousand, just about 4,000 planks made and two mil gone. Like I said, this should get us like to 98, probably really close to 99. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And so in between the last clip and now, my girlfriend and I actually opened up Christmas presents. It was a little bit early, but we figured, hey, we got to go home and see our family for the holidays. So we may as well do it while we're both home. And uh, she actually got me a new keyboard and mouse, which is amazing but I'm not used to this thing at all. So I've just been doing like constant dead clicks. Um, I have a new keyboard here. That's one of those like super loud fucking clicky things that everyone loves now. <laughs> and I mean, I, I wanted it, so it's perfect. But um, yeah, that's the end of our planks for now. We're just about at 98 construction. So that means we have about a million experience to go, which is you know, somewhat significant. I think I'm just gonna cut some mahogany trees and get planks that way because I'll be spending more money, but it's the quickest way to do it, so. We chopped all those mahogany logs, we turned them into planks, and now we're in the final stage of getting to 99 construction. All we need to do is click, click, click away, and there we go, 99 construction is done, giving us another 200 points, another skill off the list, leaving us with only one two, three skills left. I'm not counting it. All right, well, I guess I have to count agility. It's just so close that like, I'm gonna get it while AFKing. All right, let's go hit the bank real quick and I'll show you what I actually have prepared at the moment. So right now, I already went and spent a good amount of my cash stack on these adamant arrow tips. So we have 48,000. So I think we're pretty safe that we're gonna be able to get 99 with it. I remember this task at literally the best timing ever. I was like, oh man, I'm ready to do these arrows, but I have no shafts. Then I remembered, oh, wait a minute. It's a thing that if I do like 250 redwood logs into shafts, that's a task. And it's the best possible way of getting them, which is just perfect. So there's fledged 250 redwood logs into arrow shafts for 200 points. That is just incredible. We'll go up to like 30,000 for now, see where we're at because I do want to hold on to some of these redwood logs. Uh, I'm not sure like how many I'm going to need overall. But yeah, maybe like we'll get up to 30,000, then go back to normal fletching. I don't know what I want to say. It's finally happening. We've had to go through <laughs> so many redos, so many more arrow shafts, buying rune arrow tips, wasting so much money. Finally, we're going to reach level 99 fletching. Another 200 points. It's all adding up so well. I haven't shown it in a while, but we're only 4,500 points away until the T rate relic. And only three skills away from officially maxing. So, you know what? I, I think I have a pretty good idea of uh, how to celebrate this. And that's by getting level 99 agility for another 200 points, leaving us with only two skills to go, only nine levels overall in mining and fishing and I just can't wait, dude. Oh my God, it's so exciting. We're almost there, we're almost done. And I'm sorry that I've ruined this now. <laughs> oh, only one person, that's not bad. I swear we're getting so close. Level 98 mining, just one level away from 99. And I was doing iron ore for a little bit. I attempted to uh, three tick granite, couldn't figure it out. Didn't feel like it afterwards. <laughs> so I've just moved over to shooting stars, I've been doing a lot of work on the side, so it's like perfect to be AFK. One more level, and then we just need to do some casual AFK fishing. 
and will be maxed. Shooting stars have just been an absolute blessing in the league. Mining was a little bit tough. I'm going to be honest, it was a little bit tough just because I didn't have the best methods. Um, I definitely need to learn how to three tick granite in the future. It just, with the new mouse, I, honestly, my clicks were just so off and I really wasn't paying too much attention to the guide. So yeah, that's on me. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that. Um, but shooting stars has been great. Just being able to do stuff on the side while getting like 400,000 mining XP per hour. But after hitting this last rock, there's level 99 mining, another 200 points, and we're officially only one skill away from maxing. And that's fishing. I think I'm actually going to go back to Temporos for a little bit. You know, I get about a mil XP per hour there compared to 700,000 just sitting around doing salmon and trout. And I kind of just want to get done with this. So let's go to Temporos. Let's finish things off strong. And let's max. And we've done it. 99 fishing has been achieved. A nice 200 points, of course, of course. But most importantly, we've maxed out our level 3 skiller. Of course, you know, aside from Slayer, but like, what do you expect? Oh man, this is crazy. Like, I wish, there, <laughs> I wish there was a more glamorous way of showing this off. Like, you gain nothing from doing this because it's not officially maxed, but still, this is, uh... I don't even know, it, I, it, I want to say it's a great feeling, but I know it's leagues, but still, it's nice to uh, set out to actually try and max the account and to get it done. Now, of course, there's still a lot of other things we want to accomplish, mainly first one being getting our tier 8 relic, which is what we're going to get no problem, I'm not even worried about that. But still, I'm like, <laughs> I think I got to take like a step away first and just recollect myself and be like, oh, nice, this is actually done. Oh, if you've been along from the beginning, I mean, can only thank you so much. Like, I know it's a dumb idea compared to what everyone else is doing because there's so many more exciting things you can do as like a main account compared to a level 3. But still, you know, uh, once we get our tier 8 relic, we'll be able to mess around with a guardian, get some more tasks done. So there's still plenty to do and we have a little over two weeks left or maybe two weeks left. I'm not completely sure. But hey, if you've enjoyed the series at all so far, I would appreciate any likes, any support. Just know, it means a lot to me. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'll see you all in the next one.